Hello and welcome to this first look mod video. Today we're going to be looking at the Ermo Levante 7L by the SMI modding team. So let's jump in and have a look. So first off, let's check it out in the store. It's under soil cultivation, subsoilers, Ermo Levante 7L. As you can see, its base price is £8,405 euros or dollars. It does come with a design option of bar or without bar, and that's an extra four hundred pounds euros or dollars. If I just turn it around, you'll be able to have a look. Bar is on the back here. I'm not one hundred percent certain on what the bar does, but it's there. It looks good. I'm sure it has a purpose. I'm, I'm imagining that's purely for protection. That's a safety bar. That's what I'm going to go with. So it has um a three meter working width it requires 100 horsepower it's around 100 to 140 is sort of recommended in getting this going and has a working speed of six miles per hour which i think is probably about 10 11 kilometers per hour looking at it in the store it's really nice ermo is an italian brand as we can see here got the italian flag on there so it's, it's really cool looking, uh, really cool, dangerous looking bit of kit. But this looks really cool. The detail on this, if we can get in here, the detail on this is really nice. Really nice. The textures, the lighting. Look at that. Really, really. You can even see like the welding on it, where the parts have been welded together. That is really cool. That's some great detail. Even the markings in the hoses and stuff like that. I'm liking this. I'm like I'm liking that. It's the little things. It's always the little things. They are some some deep, deep forks on this. They are proper deep, aren't they? That's uh yeah. I'm, I like that. These fold down, I believe, and we'll get to see them in action as we go. And by the looks of it, we've got hydraulics on the on the back bar as well. So whether this raises and lowers and causes a different effect on the soil, I'm not sure. So um, we'll have to have a look at that. Because without this, it would this would pretty much just be a chisel. This adds sort of a, a cultivated state. Gives you the seed bed top, I guess. So yeah, we'll see, we'll see what it does. Let's have a look at it on the farm. So we've had one delivered. It looks really nice on the farm. In the daylight, different lighting on it. We get to see uh, different aspects of it. It's a really cool looking thing. I like that it's sitting it's sitting on its struts, its uh, supports there. It's not dropped into the ground. Sometimes in the past we've had tools and when you drop them, they just sit on the ground. It's sort of disappearing there a little bit. It's sitting quite nicely. Sitting on its supports and on its um, hind tines and on the roller. I've got the version with the safety bar on because this is me. Accidents will happen. I've also acquired myself a little Deutz. That's 147 horsepower, so that's more than enough to run this. Like I say, 100 to 140 is sort of recommended. We've got a beast in the little Deutz. So let's get this hooked up and uh, let's see it in action. So we've got it all hooked up. We've brought it over to our field that is waiting for some some ploughing, some cultivating, some subsoiling. That's what we've got going on. Again, we can have another nice look at it as it's connected here. Really nice looking tool. It looks cool. There's just something about this that looks cool. It looks great on the back of a warrior as well. That is a look that you want to be rocking. So let's jump in and check out these moving parts. So we can unfold, and if we unfold, you'll see, see if I can get a close enough angle on that. There's the uh, the pins just above the Levante. If we unfold, you'll see the safety pin comes out. Fold down, back in, lock it in place. Beautifully done. And the purpose of that, I believe, is that once you're down and you're subsoiling, it stops the, the soil spreading out too fast so then when you're rolling over with the uh, the back roller you've got the same amount of soil being fed back in if you're if you're digging deep because these are a deep uh deep subsoiler so if you're digging deep you get a lot of lot of soil getting turned up and those little bits on the side there those arms that fold down help to keep that soil 
in with your row so you don't don't lose it into the next side. Because if not, your your saw is just slowly working its way off the field. But yeah, it also stops it from mounting up on where you've already been. Now the other part that we said was movable, retractable, is if I I'm on PC, so I'm going to use my mouse. If we bring that in, we can raise that up and down. So when we're running, we'll see if that makes much of a difference at all. There we go. Get a smoother action on that. So we'll start with it down. That seems to be the uh, the base working position. So we'll lower it into our soil. So I think that gives us a maybe a, a not so deep. I'm just going to try that now. Oh, it allows for the deeper. Okay, that's cool. So we can choose our working depth pretty much. So you've got a, a light chisel cultivation here. Does it still do it? Oh, it doesn't. That's all right. I like that. So you have to, you have to get it in position. So just down a little bit. Okay, so if you bring it down to the red, you start to get the work. We can go all the way down. There we are, look at that. Not running in a very uh, straight line with the, with, the, with the map. Let's see if I can get that straightened up just so that it looks a little bit better of the texture more than anything. The aesthetics, it's important. And because we're going deep, we are bringing up the stones. So if we uh, get our foot down, you'll see that the, that little side bit would be catching that dirt as it comes out and um, feeding it back in. And then our roller then uh, brings it back in line, makes it nice and smooth, you see that nice smooth texture. And just check in the map, shall we? Because I th I'm not sure. This field probably needs ploughing. It does. So in being a subsoiler as well, it's getting rid of that needs ploughing state, which is always really nice. So you've got a nice, smooth, ready to steed on, ready to plant on uh, soil bed here. Ploughing's done. It's cultivated. It's ready to go. You know, It's just the stones that you're going to have to deal with. I think those ones can probably be rolled in to start with. But again, this looks really nice. The Ermo Levante 7L. Once again, it's by SMI Modern Team. Working with 3 meters. Costs 8,405. It's power range 100 to 140 horsepower. Working speed 10 kilometers. Or what was that? Um, 6 miles per hour. It's got some nice little features there for raising and lowering. Lowering. I can get me words. I'm excited by it. Raised and lowering. Really nice. Again, we'll pull the pin out. We'll fold it up. Raise the whole unit. Brilliant. I really like that. And hopefully you've enjoyed this first look mod video of the Ermo Levante by SMI Modern Team. If you have... Give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on. Find out when videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.